So I hear for the accent. Uh, so you were born in London, or is that uh... <laughs> London, <laughs> London Island? <laughs> Um, you, you sound you sound seriously like you know my short time that I lived in um, in New York. I lived there well, well, not short time, four or five years. But uh, that accent is classic, classic. Steve West meets Tommy Henriksen meets somewhere out in the island. But you gotta you gotta give me some because that's what we start the show off with. You gotta go back to get forward. Where right. did you grow up, Joey? Uh, Long Island, New York. There and, you uh, go. I was right yeah, with the island. You're right, man. And it was a uh, about about thirty minute drive from your boy Tommy Hendrickson. So that's probably if if we sound alike or similar, it's in the water or the air or the or something. But uh, I bet you were two blocks away from Steve West's house because you sound you could be a dead ring. Do you know Steve West, by the way? Drummer for Danger Danger. Vic, do you have a picture well. of Steve West to put up? Uh, so you yeah. know. I was just seeing if uh, our producer Vic had a picture of Steve West. <laughs> no, he does not. Okay, so we'll take them anyhow, <laughs> but do you know Steve? You know Very Steve well. from any of the bands? Growing up? Oh, you do. Okay. Yeah, I Shit. played with Steve. Oh. I, I played with Steve and Bruno and Mike Pont when I was about seventeen. I, I, I was in a band with those guys. That's what I like to hear. That's the stuff. That's those are the nuggets of oh. in the trenches that you just can't find. Okay, I want to hear what it was like. Nuggets, I, I know. I, I got boulders, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first band that's basically on the radar, because like I said, folks, I went on to the dark web today, not just because <laughs> it's election day. I went on to the dark web to find out all his info about Joey Sykes and his bands, but it kind of picks up uh, with the band Boys Town. But I want to go a little bit before that, because you did, you, you threw out a line and you said, hey, I played with Steve West and Bruno, uh, yeah. which are Huge fans of the show. Thank you very much, guys. They don't know how big of fans they are, but I'm just saying, putting it out there that they are. What was the band name that you uh, had out there with Steve and Bruno? Uh, this is this is going to be a whole like like it's going to be a whole rabbit hole that I I, I re rarely bring out, but it was Hot Let's Shot. Go down. Hot, Hot Shot. Shot. Well, you that know, that is Mike, Mike Pont. That is Mike Pont. That has Mike Pont written all over it, right? So Mike Pont took the name later on, and he kind of upped it. You know, we were more of a just starting, you know, we were a very successful band on Long Island, but Mike then took it into, like, his own original music and stuff like that. So he kept the name going. So, yeah. And did you know, Tommy, because you said you grew up about a half an hour away, back in those days, because he played in a band, uh, Rough Cut, Hot Shot and Rough Cut, I could definitely see on the same bill. Same, Were yeah. you guys? So here's a nugget alert. <laughs> for, <laughs> for, your, another, for your another exclusive. <laughs> for all your Tommy fans, which I know there are millions of them. That's Me right. and Tommy went to college. Chew on that for a minute. Tommy went to college. I never knew that. That's a that's a huge nugget of knowledge that I did not know. Tommy Henriksen went to college, folks. If someone doesn't put that out as their headline on the, and change their Instagram, LinkedIn bio to Tommy went yep. to college, that is going to be, that's a surprising one. All right. Music, cool. It was, it was music college, but hey, yeah, he's we'll a take, smart guy. We'll no, take no, just, it. To be honest with you, he's a street smart oh, guy you, he, and, and he's the first guy to admit you're like, ah, I don't get, I don't get all that stuff, but you know what? Maybe he's a, uh, he's sly as a fox and he does Tom, know all that. Tommy's stuff. the ultimate Swiss knife, Swiss army knife in, in every, not only music, but street smart, uh, honesty, great guy. Uh, just, you know, he's, he's the real deal. All right. Yeah, that's good. We're, we're t trust me. We're going to massage Tommy's back uh, in just a little bit uh, when we talk about your career with him and playing with him. But there's a nice shot of uh, there it is. You have your indie glasses on in that shot, Vic. Can you put that shot back up? Oh, there, yeah. There's our Joey Sykes with his indie glasses on that I'm wearing, um, and then you have um, Tommy Hendrickson, of course, a college uh, educated Tommy <laughs> Hendrickson on the right, and then in the center. In the center, is that is he an Avengers superhero or could that be Kenny Aronoff? Kenny Aronoff. All right. Well, which it, is sort it, of like a superhero. And it's me being Ryan Roxy for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. how was your Halloween? It just passed. And uh the, like this year, like no other, you know, election day is kind of like this is the weirdest one that we've had in my lifetime, obviously, yeah. but uh, just a couple days before it was kind of the weirdest Halloween that I've had because I, I was 
literally sweatpants, t-shirt on a couch, no trick or treaters. What was yours like? That you know, everything shut down, man. I'm 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 locked in my studio recording and writing. Uh, no trick or treaters. We actually went over a friend's house for a little barbecue. It was very non-eventful. Hello folks, Roxy here. Thanks for watching the video. And if you liked it, hit the subscribe button or one of the videos around me to watch more. If you'd like to, please leave a comment. If you didn't like the video, maybe you'll forget how to type. Thanks. Yeah.